Okay, so this is 15 yards. There's a coffee cup. Just to give you some idea. And then we're out at about 35 yards. On that one. Right, so this is my original setup, which is a Sony camcorder on the back of a day scope. Did this uh, four or five years ago, and it's become quite popular throughout YouTube, as many of you might have uh, taken the idea on. That, what we can see there, is the tree, which is 70 odd yards away. Um, in the early days, I used to use this for illumination, which is infrared LEDs. Um, if you have a look at the very early videos of uh, vermin control, you'll see that they weren't that bright until I came across the laser illuminator. Now this is actually switched on, but it, with it being infrared, it's not showing up. Do that, you can actually see how powerful it is. These cost uh, 120 pounds upwards have a focusable beam, much like the laser designator, the green laser designators that are recently coming out, which are a visible light. With these, at short distances, you actually want a wider field of view, so you'll alter your zoom to fill your whole view, and when you're going out to a greater distance, which is sort of, if you imagine that amount there, which is what we're looking at here, you actually need to zoom the beam in really tight because by the time it gets down there it's going to be it's going to fill that amount. What's come on the market now, and this is what the video is about, is these uh, more affordable laser illuminators. This one is available if you look in the links, you'll see where you can get it from. Right, so in the early days, I started off with this as an illuminator. It's LED, infrared LED, running on 12 volts. Um, did the job for a while, only up to sort of 10 yards. And as I say, I then moved on to the laser illumination. You do get a red glow from that, as you do with the laser. But when you consider the size of that laser, is really about the size of one of those LEDs. There's a lot less chance uh, of it being spotted. The conventional way of infrared illumination has been achieved by using a torch, the ordinary bulb type, or gun lamp, which as you can see is pretty bright just uh, lighting up that tree at 75 yards and in front of that you put an infrared filter you can actually see quite a bright reveal from that quite a bright glow of course it's now infrared so you can't see it so if I switch the camera over there you go you can see it again it's only average bright it's not fantastic I'll zoom in on that. By the time you get into that, it's not very bright. Basically because you can't focus that light down as you can with the laser illuminator. So this is 15 yards. There's a coffee cup to give you some idea and then we're out at about 35 yards on that one Let's see what it's like right we're on infrared on the camera at the moment so if I switch that off now you can see the infrared moving side to side when I switch the camera from infrared to ordinary there you go, you can't see it at all. So it's not visible to the naked eye. 
disappear. This is where I was recording in the garden last night. It's about 15 yards that is. That's where I showed you when you what it's like when you switch the infrared on and off on the camera. Um, that one is 33 yards and then we've got that one there which was nearly 70. This is where I was standing last night. That's where I started filming there. Down to that in that hedge. And then down to those molehills which are ninety-five yards away. I should try and uh, show you. Very hard to have, get it to all line up, but there. that's those molehills down there. To get that distance, you have to narrow the beam down on the infrared illuminator. What's this here? 18. That's 40. It's 40 yards down to that hedge there. Uh, 